Spam's Carbon Footprint 2. Spam was born on July 5, 1937 in Austin, Minnesota, the home of Hormel headquarters and the Spam Museum, hashtag cubist art you can eat. Eight pounds of Spam die in every Chamorro stomach each year, which is more per capita than any other ethno-intestinal tract in the world. Motto, Guam is where the impure pork products of America begin. Our guttural love of Spam was born in 1944, when cases of the shiny cans were birthed from aircraft carriers. That fateful day when my grandparents first tasted Spam is commemorated as the feast day of the Immaculate Consumption. Saint Hormel, pray for us. The rest of the story is gestational genealogy, a delicious cycle. Sadly, military recruiters are now worried that young Chamorros have become too unhealthy and obese to enlist in the armed forces. My food philosophy is simple. I eat, therefore I spam. How can I prove that I'm an authentic indigenous person and not a spam script? At this year's Hormel Spam Cook-Off in Guam, the Polish-inspired pika pierogi ousted the crispy wonton spam ravioli for first place. I've eaten turkey spam, smoke flavored spam, hot and spicy spam, garlic spam, spam light, Portuguese sausage flavored spam, and more. When did our lives become so complicated and postmodern? What spam flavor would Jesus eat? Closer, 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 and I will whisper to you in my sexy voice, quote, Google the spam factory's dirty little secret, end quote. Ooh, baby, here I am. Come rub up on my belly like spam jelly. Ooh, baby, here I am. Come rub up on my belly like spam jelly. Sing it with me now, spam, spam jelly. Spam, spam jelly. Hashtag mandatory Marley. In the morning, we could bring our spam labels to the Sorensen Media Group offices in Hagania and redeem 12 labels of spam shirts and nine for a spam hat. Guam is an acronym for Give Us American Meat. My favorite scene in John Steinbeck's The Gra Grapes of Wrath, born 1939, is when the tractor driver takes a lunch break near a tenant house and eats his sandwich on white bread, pickle, cheese, and spam. The curious, starving children surround the driver, watching his hands carry the spam to his mouth. Once upon spiral time, a Chamorro brother and sister refused to eat Spam, so their authentic Chamorro grandmother banished them into the diaspora and cursed them to a life without meat. The vegetarian siblings migrated to Minnesota, where they opened the world's first vegan butcher shop and sold meatless meats at farmer's markets and pop-up events. They dedicated their lives to creating the perfect vegan Spam. They tried vital wheat gluten. They tried garbanzo tapioca flour. They tried peanut butter. The flavor is good, but the texture is off, they say in unison. Spam is just a difficult whale to catch. If they succeed, I will never eat it.